So we're going to see how to switch the background imagery in the ID web editor. Uh, this is part of Sri Lanka. And so I need to take a look um, at one of these task squares. And then I'm going to need to switch the imagery between the Mapbox imagery and between the Bing imagery. So this is the uh, Sri Lankan project. And I'm just going to grab this task square. And I'm going to say start mapping. And it says edit with the ID editor. And that's the one that I'm going to use. So I click on that. The purple square is my the area for that task square that I'm supposed to edit. It says zoom in to edit. So I'm going to zoom in to edit. And I'm either using the wheel on my mouse or I'm clicking on the buttons. So I'm just using the wheel of my mouse. So the so this is this imagery is Bing imagery because it tells me the imagery in the lower left hand corner. And I want to see what this area looks like with Mapbox imagery. So I'm going to go over to the far right and I'm going to choose background settings. It looks like a stack of layers, and that's what we're going to adjust, are the layers. And I click on that, and it opens, and you can see that it shows I have Bing aerial imagery highlighted, but I need to switch to Mapbox. So I'm just going to click once on that, and you can see now it switches back to Mapbox. If I was done, I would just close this up, and I would carry on mapping. Um, so I need to kind of compare them just for a second. But you can see as I switch back and forth, it shifts a little bit. Uh, but not too much. So that's how you switch the, the background imagery. Just switch it to what you want it to be and close it up and carry on. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.